All right, here we have an update to the abandoned Yandy Street. I apologize if I'm not pronouncing that right. Railroad crossing in Indianapolis, Indiana. As you can see, one signal's gone. This was the one that had the dangling light. As you can see, the base for it is still here. Although destroyed, it is a clamp style base. This is on the abandoned CSX branch line. I'm not sure the name. I'm pretty sure it was just a part of the Indianapolis Belt Sub, which is a collection of different lines, which are basically just CSX industrial branches now. That's looking east and, I believe, kind of south, but I know it's de technically east down the line towards Columbia Avenue and Andrew Brown Avenue and also a bunch of other crossings that I toured about a year or two ago. Some of them at different dates. But this one I toured a, two years ago. I'm not sure if you'll remember the video. I might. If I remember, I'll put the original one in the description, but that was a while ago. I wanted to come here to do a retour because I got a lot of things wrong. Like I called the RRS bell here a USNS bell, but obviously a signal's gone now, so I can't do that. But anyways, this is going to be an update now, so this other signal is still here and fine. It's actually not in most terrible shape. It's got a safe train clamp style base. Here's the white CSX emergency information sign. Crossing dot number is 476476P. Milepost QIB 13.30. The lights are safe train 8 inch lights. And the bell is an RRS mechanical bell. I might try shaking it since this crossing is clearly abandoned. Long since been abandoned and power shut off. And I'm curious how it sounds. Not sure yet. There are some nests inside the visors. That's looking uh, west. And this actually connects to the Monon main line. Monon, however you like to pronounce it. There's a rear view. But yeah, right down there it connects to the abandoned Monon main line. Which also has some abandoned crossings on it. Which I toured a year or two ago depending on when I decided to do them. And that part's actually a trail, but also they left the most of the tracks and most of the crossings. I'm probably not gonna check on everything here, I don't have time, but I'm checking on the RRS, excuse me, RRS bells around the city. But here's the grade. No track has been removed here. Oh yeah, and over here, I don't know why it's all the way over here and behind a fence, but over here is the relay case. It is open. Um, this is kind of a unsafe-ish area. It's like this side looks okay, but all the rest seems unsafe. Let's see if I can't get this guy to ring. All right, let's try this. I really don't want to pull on this too hard with these uh, wasp nests in it. Yeah, I mean, this is shaking quite a bit and it's not ringing, so I'm willing to bet that the hammer has probably rusted and or is brittle and just doesn't want to move which is quite unfortunate i really want to know what that sounds like yeah i mean that bell is really rusty it's not in good shape i'm willing to bet that the hammer is rusted so much that it is too short to reach the gong or it's just so brittle that it won't even move because it's I was shaking it pretty hard. So, but yeah, it's nice to see it's still here, despite it never going to see a train again. But shame for the other signal that it was knocked down. All right, so this is the uh, update to the Yandy Street abandoned crossing in Indianapolis, Indiana. Thanks for watching, over and out.